Hello, this is Chad Carnes, Chief Market Strategist at ETFGuide.com. Thanks for joining me today as I revisit the Ultimate Contrarian Indicator. In October of 2012, Barron's covered this magazine article that screamed Dow 14,165. It essentially called the top in the markets though as the Dow sold off 8% in under a month. In this update, I look at the Ultimate Contrarian Indicator and magazine covers as a, a way to make better investment decisions. When you were a kid, do you remember wanting or doing something and being asked by your parent, why do you want to do this? The child would almost always reply, because everyone else is. Those familiar with this life lesson also know the next part of the story where the parent replies, if everyone was jumping off a bridge, would you want to also? On October 31st, I wrote an article entitled What the Ultimate Contrarian Indicator is Saying that can be found on ETFGuide.com. That called out Barron's and other magazine covers as excellent contrarian indicators. The October 15th issue in Barron's magazine indeed provided a great contrarian sell signal for investors. You know, it says Dow 14165 almost there on the cover title when the Dow was at 13.3, but by the next month the Dow was down 8%. And still after six months since that cover story was published, the Dow still has not made it past 14.165. And uh, it's put investors in, the, in, in a lot of harm's way with that 8% decline along the way. In technical analysis, this is called the cover the magazine sentiment technique. The theory is when the crowd consensus becomes too lopsided one way, it is usually captured by a popular media outlet such as the Barron's Magazine or other magazines. Often the side of the trade that the cover the magazine is suggesting is actually the wrong side because by the time the media gets a hold of it, the trade is already finished and uh, in reality you probably should do the opposite. In this, in this case, uh, Barron's was capturing the consensus opinion that the markets were poised to continue to rally. However, we saw it differently warning ETF Profit Strategy Newsletter subscribers on October 19th that the lack of comp confirmation of the uptrend of market internals such as breadth and sentiment continues and we are waiting for prices to maintain below 1430 to give us a signal an intermediate top is likely in. Less than a week later that breach indeed occurred and saved investors a lot of headaches as the markets fell at the 8% from a high of 1475 on the S&P down to 1343 by mid-November. There are hundreds of examples of the cover of magazine in action. Arguably the most popular historic example occurred in 1979, which I have on the screen now, w with the Death of Equities Business Week cover from 1979 that, that was published when the Dow was only at eight, 833. That year the Dow rallied over 10% and, and that year also kicked off one of the best decades ever in the 1980s. Another example, the January 22, 2007 time cover issue of China uh, was another great counterintuitive example of a, of a top, top uh, ticking call by a magazine. Time of course was calling for a continuation of the bullish trend but a contrarian would see this as a telltale sign to get out of Chinese stocks as the public and everyone is probably already fully invested as they can be in China at that time. The Shanghai index uh, continued up for a few months, but then crested a, a, you know, a couple months later, and the market fell hard fast, and is now sits at only 2,100. When uh, the Time magazine was published, it was at a level of 2,800 over five years earlier. And then a final example, a more mainstream one of the cover of the magazine indicator, is actually the Madden curse in NFL football. This contrarian theory is based on the popular John Madden NFL football game that is produced by Electronic Arts and how that game affects the season of whichever player is lucky enough to grace the cover. Historically, when a player is pictured on the front of the cover, the following year they usually have a significantly bad year or even worse, a major injury. This year's cover was of Calvin Johnson or Megatron, if you prefer his nickname. Now, he didn't have a major injury this year, but he did start off the season horribly with only one touchdown through his first seven games. Compare that to the previous year where he had a touchdown on average every single game and finished the year with 16 of them. What about right now? <clears throat> well, the technical sentiment and the contrarian indicators were all aligning well before that Barron's article in October of 2012 warned us 
uh, of uh, of a uh, impending top. You know, the Barron's article is really just the the icing on the cake. Now, more recently, Barron's has reiterated this cover, which I have now on the screen, at uh, calling now for a Dow 15,000. As a market contrarian, it, it just it just kind of adds more icing on the cake again that they are expecting Dow 15,000, even though the sentiment and the and the technicals are saying that we're due for a a significant market pullback here. I would be cautious here, uh, if nothing else, because of the the cover of the magazine article contrarian indicator. Thanks for joining me today and please check out some of our other videos on our YouTube channel as well as our many other investment tools and research at ETFguide.com. We offer a monthly newsletter, we do weekly ETF picks, and I also do a few times a week technical forecast that focuses on the shorter term trends of the market.